Hi, I'm Dr De Bruin, and this is an exam question walkthrough showing you how to answer this bond enthalpy calculation exam question from the energetics topic of AQA A-level chemistry. Before we start, pause the video and have a go at answering it yourself. Like many energetics questions, this one begins with a definition. So here we're looking for a definition for mean bond enthalpy. Mean bond enthalpy is the average heat energy required in order to break one mole of covalent bonds. So it's important that you're specifying that it's one mole because this is a standard enthalpy and it's important that they're covalent bonds. And then the reason that it's mean bond enthalpy is that these have been averaged out over a range of molecules or over a range of compounds, because actually there isn't one value for, say, an oxygen hydrogen bond that holds true for every single molecule. It depends about the rest of the environment that that bond is in. Then the next question is not that far removed from what you would have done in GCSE, writing a balanced equation for complete combustion. So we start off with ethanol, which of course is C2H5OH, and we're going to need to add some oxygen, but we don't know how much yet. And that, of course, is going to make carbon dioxide and also water. And then you just need to balance this. So we've got two carbons on the left, therefore two carbon dioxides on the right. We've got six hydrogens on the left, not forgetting the one in the OH group. So therefore, we're going to need three water molecules. And then if you add up all of the um, oxygens in the carbon dioxide and all of the oxygens in the water, we've got seven, but there's already one in the ethanol. So we need to include six oxygen atoms and therefore we need three oxygen molecules. Finally, we have this bond enthalpy calculation. And because this is the first one of these that we've done in this series, I've kept it really straightforward. So this calculation could literally appear on a GCSE chemistry paper, albeit for slightly more marks. We're not having to do any thinking about how to get from the equation that we've got to a standard enthalpy of combustion and it just being one mole. Um, and we're not trying to work out the value for a particular bond. We're just trying to work out the overall energy change. So this is really kind of level one of this type of question. So as we know, the overall energy change can be calculated by taking the energy required to break the bonds and subtracting the energy released when we make the bonds. So we're going to start out by calculating how much energy is absorbed in breaking these bonds. And even at this stage, I would still suggest drawing out the molecule because this way you can cross out the bonds as you include them in your calculation. And that avoids a situation where you've missed a bond. So particularly with organic molecules, we regularly see people forgetting to include the carbon carbon bonds in that central carbon chain. So here I'm going to start out with five lots of 413. So there are the five carbon hydrogen bonds and then move on through each of the other bonds in turn, adding those into my calculation. And eventually I work out that the overall energy required to break all of those bonds is going to be 4,728 kilojoules per mole of starting ethanol. And then on the other side, if I work out the energy that's released in making these um, carbon dioxide molecules and water molecules, I've got four carbon to oxygen double bonds, being careful that I'm using the double bond value, not the single bond value, and likewise six oxygen to hydrogen. And that gives me an overall value of 5,728 kilojoules being released. And so if I then do that little subtraction, I get minus 1,000 kilojoules per mole. And that does make sense. It's a negative value. So this is an exothermic process. And bearing in mind that we're burning a fuel, of course, it's going to be an exothermic process. Thank you very much for watching. If you are finding these walkthroughs of A-level chemistry exam questions useful as part of your revision, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments which topics you'd like me to cover next and also share the channel because it all helps it to grow. And I'll be back soon with some more A-level chemistry content.